trying to charge up that power bank in the windscreen of my car and I can see that the little LED there is glowing sort of a brown colour or red I suppose. I'll put the camera right up but I don't know if we'll actually see that LED. could do with being on the other side because you're actually blocking the sunlight when you're trying to see if the LED is on. It's a bit silly. Well, I've just taken it out of the windscreen. It's been in there for two days. Today's been really sunny. Yesterday was fairly sunny most of the day. And it looks like we've got two bars of charge in there now. So that's not bad, but I'll leave it in there for another few days, see if we can get it fully charged. So that was two days of charge in the windscreen of my car, got us up to two bars on the scale there. Not sure if I already said this, but I really think having the on-off button and the LEDs on the same side as the solar panel is a bad design feature because you can't check how charged it is without getting it out of its frame. It'd be handy if they were just along the top edge or something you just press it and see if it's fully charged. And if you actually wanted to make use of it the connectors are on the bottom here so again if they were on the top edge I mean I could just turn it up the other way but then you can actually plug anything you want charged into the top of it without removing it. Although, I think that would be a bad move anyway. I'd rather take it with me if I want to go and charge something, like my phone when I'm on the beach. But I do think they're in the wrong place. Along the top edge, and then you'll be able to check it while it's still in its cradle. It's now Wednesday the 25th of July and this has been in the windscreen of my car for, I've forgotten now, five days I think. I'll put something up on the screen to confirm it. So let's see what we've got. We've still only got two bars of power. Hmm, not impressed by that. I thought we might have been up to three or four by now. It was on two bars the last time we looked, which was a few days ago. So, I mean, obviously we can always complain about the British weather, but in fact we've had sunny days uh, every day. Just the slightest bit of cloud occasionally. So we're not doing very well. in my opinion. Just do that again. Yep, just two bars. I'll leave it in for a few more days because I did say I'd leave it in the front window for a week. But I can't see that suddenly changing from two bars to four bars in the next day or two. It's Saturday the 28th of July so this solar charger or power bank with the solar charger option has been in the windscreen of my car for a week now. So we'll press the button and see how much it's charged. We've had probably the sunniest weather we've had in the UK for years this week. And we're still only up to two bars. So, yeah, not impressed. That's the best we're going to get. Two bars. There's no point in me just running that and letting it run down. I want to see it go up to four bars and impress me. So, disappointed with that. I mean, truth is, it has charged a bit. Or 50% if we believe the scale. 
and that's probably enough to keep your mobile phone running but that's a week of the best of the British sunny summer weather and we're still only halfway charged while I've been working tonight I've had this thing on charge on a USB lead it's been on charge for about well, probably four hours maybe even longer but I have finally got it fully charged but that, that was from apparently half charged by sunlight to full charge by USB I say it's taken about four hours I should think still I now have a fully charged power bank that I can leave in the windscreen of the car to keep it topped up but I don't think in English weather you're ever going to charge this fully just from sunlight so that's my summary hey thanks for watching there's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on patreon to buy me coffee you can always find more information in the video description thanks again for watching